Well guys, we're going to have a bunch of fun this afternoon. I'm going to be working with a tractor, bucket, and a bunch of gravel. Wonder what I'm talking about? Come check it out. Well guys, thanks so much for tuning back in. Jeff here with Project Next One. Uh, as you guys have seen in lots of videos I've been doing lately, I've been doing a lot of focusing around working around my pool deck. Um, if you look at some of the past videos, you saw we added the River Rock blend uh, to work with the mulch. I have been trimming and pruning my hedges. I have been pruning up my trees. Uh, re-mulching. Um, I have been thinning out my patio grasses and uh, replanting those uh, so you could see the rock accents that we have. Uh, just all kinds of work. Also, don't forget on one of the videos uh, cleaning using the new disc device to clean my concrete. And as you can see, it's still just beautiful white and looks great. So, uh, I'm down to the point of just there's a few more things I want to finish up and one of them is I want to go to the rock quarry and get a couple of loads of number 57. Uh, this rock is specific. Uh, the reason we say the number 57 it is a certain type. Uh, it has it's it's been washed and cleaned and it's a, a fairly good size and, and it doesn't compact down tight and so what that does is it allows the water to be able to flow through it. So it's really great for you using for drain tile systems and I have used it through this whole area everything about my pool is designed for the water when the rains come it flows all this way the water runs off the concrete also the water can run over to this side underneath all of this is a drain tile system it all runs underneath this and it comes out at a pipe that's right behind where that ball is sitting <laughs> and and so anyway all the water comes this way and then it flows down the hill and away from everything so uh, as you can see this gravel that I've had that's down now I have had I mean it's been years and years and this all just needs freshening up so I'm gonna get a couple of uh, dump trailer loads of gravel and use the tractor and we're gonna get all of this freshened up and probably put about an inch or so all through here it'll look nice and it'll help work better for the water to run through this so you know me guys let's get busy
Well guys, man, am I tickled. This job turned out really great. I uh, can't get over how much nicer it looks and more so than that, the functionality of letting the water run through this type of gravel. So I'll swing the camera around and give you guys a show. Uh, again, I've added about uh, an inch to an inch and a half of gravel all the way through here. Uh, I'll try to dub in here a quick shot of what it looked like before we started. But uh, anyway, this is just so much nicer now. And you know, once again, everything with the water will run through here or either the drain tile system and this type of gravel, the water just runs right through it. So it will um, actually, the water will actually be under the gravel uh, in, on the nights, that, the days that it's pouring down rain. This will, you know, just all be gravel on top and the water will be now near the ground level just running through it. And it'll run on down the hill. I also did a design uh, to where all my gutters back feed here to the back and then they offload all the water from the, the roof line and then that runs down the hill as well. There's one gutter here that we just saw and then there's one on this side and they both just let everything run down the hill. With all this gravel in place, the the dirt, the, you know, you don't get any erosion, any rutting and it just all holds very nicely and um, again just lets the water run away. So anyway guys, Another project knocked out. Again, here at Project Next, it's all about knocking them out one at a time. So uh, thanks so much for tuning in today, guys. Oh, one other thing I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I don't know if you're curious or not, but uh, the rock quarry here in Danville, uh, again, these are number 57s. They're a little bit more expensive than another one that's called Crush and Run. Uh, Crush and Run is what I normally put on the driveway. It has more dust in it and it actually will pack and the water doesn't run through that. Uh, like it does the 57. Anyway, um, crush and run, I can carry on my trailer. I can do five tons at a time. And uh, each run for crush and run cost me right at $100 a load. And uh, the 57 is a little bit more expensive and it's about $110 a load. So just thought I'd share that info as well. So anyway, guys, thanks again so much for watching. Uh, again, please be sure to hit the like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to grab the notifier uh, so you won't miss any episodes upcoming. I try to do a couple a week. And so uh, loved having you guys along for the journey with Project Next One. So guys, take care for now, and we'll see you soon. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs>